Joined by Stephanie Flamini, the head coach of Guilford College Women's Basketball. They were picked number one with eight first place votes in this year's preseason poll. Coach, talk a little bit about your team so far here in the preseason. You have several players back, including the reigning ODAC Player of the Year in Gabby Oglesby. Well, we're, we're sort of trying to find our, our place. We have some kids taking on some new roles. Um, and we're just kind of getting used to not having Jaslyn Gibbs out there. So it's, it's a process still. But we have a lot of returners, and we're excited about the fact that we have so many kids with experience back. You kind of lead into my next question there. You're talking about the experience you have. That experience includes an ODAC championship last season, the first one for the program since 2002, when it was back-to-back 2001-2002. But then also you made the NCAA tournament and got to go play at, uh, against center. Talk a little bit about that experience and what you expect from your players, knowing that they have that experience now. Um, well, the ODAC tournament was so much fun. I mean, obviously when you win it, it's fun, right? But, uh, I mean, the games were great. I thought we had – I just never felt like um, they didn't want to win. I, and, and that's a tribute to our senior. She wasn't going to go out losing. And uh, she did a great job leading us. And, you know, we had a great tournament, as, as you saw, and uh, went out the center. And that was an experience because we had the, the weather issues that we had and um, things were just all off. But it was fun, and it, it's a great team to be around. So if you're going to have those issues, you, you want to have it with this team because they're a lot of fun. And um, we enjoyed the game. It was a great atmosphere, center put together. And um, unfortunately, we didn't get the win, but um, we got the experience, and I felt like it was a good, um, a good jump into this year. Talk about your returning players a little bit, but also talk about how that they're being leaders for this year's incoming class as well. Well, you know, because we have so many returners, we do have three seniors that we're going to be relying on. Um, we're going to rely on Brittany Atwater, uh, Shelly Barker, and, and Jacqueline Nucci. Um, and they all, have, they all have different personalities, so it's kind of a good mix in terms of how they're going to lead and how they're going to complement each other. So um, I expect it from them, and I expect everyone to be able to, to lead pretty well because we, we have so many kids at back. One thing that you don't have with so many players back this year is a transition on your team so much with, with a, much of the returning cast back. But what the league does have is a transition is we've got a 12th team in the conference this year with Shenandoah coming in, and that means there's been a change to the conference schedule going from a 20-game balance to a 16-game unbalanced schedule. And now the tournament has also changed from eight teams qualifying straight to Salem to all 12 teams making it only the top four seeds qualify in. Talk a little bit about your impressions on that and what you expect to see from it this season. Well, I think um, the there's some very a lot of positives. There's there aren't three game three game conference weeks that we have to prepare for, and we're not playing back to back every weekend, um, and that was that was tough. And so we get a little more time to, to prepare for everyone. Um, I think you'll see probably a lot better basketball because of that. Um, this really gets difficult when you're preparing for two teams um, in a weekend, and then less class time missed. I mean, I think that's huge um, because we miss you know. On a Tuesday, we miss on a Friday, you know, it's just, it gets, so the class time is, is important, and I think, uh, especially when you go to Salem, you're going to miss classes then, so I think it helps you in that area when you, if you get to Salem. Well, Coach, we look forward to seeing you and the Quakers on the court this season. Good luck this year. Thanks, JJ. Appreciate it.